Today on TNT Big Show, Sean and I talk about the future of Yoshi. What is going to become of Mario's little dinosaur pal? All today on TNT Big Show. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is me, Michelle Lynn Tackett. And this is Sean. Welcome to TNT Big Show. If you like our content, please hit that subscribe button and ring, ding, ding, that notification bell to keep up date with all our latest videos. And if you want to help with the pesky algorithm, watch the whole video. Comment. Just be nice to other people. Thumbs up the video if you like it. Save it to a playlist or share it to social media. When I played Super Mario World, two things went through my mind. Oh my god, one of the greatest games ever was my first thought. Second thought, oh my god, I love that little dinosaur named Yoshi. Yeah. Ever since, Yoshi has had a lot of games. Some have been better than others. But you know what? When Yoshi hits one, boy, he really hits one. Like one Yoshi's, out of the park. Yeah. yeah. Yoshi's Island, which was Mario World mm -hmm. 2. Yoshi's Crafted World, which to me was a masterpiece. Yoshi's Woolly World with Poochie. Yep. I love that one, too. So yeah. when Yoshi hits a good one, boy, he really hits That's one. That's a good one, yeah. I just wondered, look at how Mario has evolved Zelda, Kirby, and other franchises Nintendo has said is going to evolve. Well, what does that mean for our little green dinosaur pal? Well, Michelle, honestly, he's already had a good start off already. What's that? He's had a game out last year, oh. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Yeah. He's one of the four playable characters, and you can play from him from getting to the end. So basically, you're playing a Yoshi game right <laughs> there. Well, yeah. I just wonder, are they going to make him more open 3D, keep him more 2D, but just kind of give him some more innovative new ways to play, new weapons, items. That's what I think. That's yeah. what I think because honestly, I'm just going to say this. I don't think every Nintendo franchise is going to go 3D. Yeah, yeah, I know. I what don't. You... I don't think. I think some games, I think Yoshi is definitely going to stay 2D. Maybe Donkey Kong, I don't know. But definitely Yoshi. I see what you mean, because Donkey Kong 64 wasn't a terrible game, but it wasn't exactly... Exactly, it didn't set the world on fire. It's always been the 2D Donkey Kong games that were just phenomenal. The three best ones are the first two Donkey Kong countries and Tropical Freeze. Freeze, yes. I love three in Returns, but they're kind of the weakest the of weakest. that bunch. Yeah. And it's the first two of the original Kong trilogy, and then mm -hmm. Tropical Freeze. There are certain things. Link can do 2D, 3D. Mario can do 2D, 3D. Mario can do anything really. Yeah. Kirby can now do 2D, 3D. Samus can do 2D, 3D. Yeah. But as we found out with Contra, Contra stinks in 3D. Yeah. And unfortunately so does Castlevania. Yeah. I mean, they shine in 2D and I just think there are just some franchises that are just better left to like. Finally, they got one of the best Prince of Persia games ever. Yeah. Coming yeah. out this year, and let's not forget, Sonic Mania Plus and Sonic Superstars. Yeah. Far better than any of the 3D Sonic game. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I just think there are some franchises that fit better with 2D. Yeah. Crafted World is actually in my top 15 overall favorite Switch <laughs> games. Yeah. I've played it for over 80 hours. I love it to uh -huh. bits. It is an awesome game. Yep. So if they kept 2D, only adding in new innovations, mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a challenge mode. Because Nintendo, like even Mario Wonder, was more difficult than the new series and stuff. No, honestly though, Michelle, I don't get that. Because I played the game, there were some levels I couldn't beat. Right. They were very dead. I'm talking about Yoshi. Yeah, I couldn't beat it. I just think they're concentrating too much. Like, I tell you folks, I have to warn you guys right now, a little bit off topic, but just to warn you, if you are going to buy Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, yeah. the game's a comfort, cozy game. Right. But that final boss, little kids can't beat it. Cozy people can't beat it. I had yeah. to get Michelle to beat it for me. <laughs> and really, that's not fair. I know what you mean, but I do think, though, that having, like, an easy option and a difficult option for those who want it wouldn't be bad. Something that makes, like, Mario wonder you have Yoshi and Nabbit, you know? Yeah. So I think having something to help make the game easier for those who want that and then difficult for those who want the more challenge. I know. I wouldn't see a problem with that, you know, and... I just think Yoshi needs something besides eggs, though. Mm. Don't get me wrong, you want Yoshi to have that because that's his trademark. Mm. But on the other hand, he needs something else so that way it mixes up the game. Well, like in Yoshi Island, remember? Yeah. He turned into a helicopter, yeah. a submarine, and a car. Yeah. And, and, you know, he had different play values out there. Yeah. Way. You know, just add something like that in there. Yeah. Also, I think one thing that always keeps Yoshi fresh is the art style. Mm -hmm. And I hope in the next Yoshi game, which Good Phil is going to make, 
I hope that the art style is just as wild and wacky as Mario Wonder. Actually, though, I hope they go back to the crayon look yeah. of Yoshi Island. That's still my favorite Yoshi game. Yep. The original Yoshi Island, that's still my favorite Yoshi game. Yeah, and that was such a great game. Mm -hmm. But again, like I said, you're kind of getting a Yoshi game with Mario Wonder. Yeah, you are. So, <laughs> you know. Yoshi is our dinosaur pal, and we yep. love Yoshi, and that's yep. why we want him to succeed. Yep. And I think Nintendo has underutilized the little guy over the years in some mm. areas. But, that being said, now that Nintendo is getting more ambitious with their games, and they're like, mm -hmm. hey, we're going to start using more of our old franchises. Yep. Don't forget Mario's little dinosaur Poor pal. Body, yep. Let's keep it Yoshi, but let's add some new things in there. And maybe for people who want more of a challenge, give them a hard mode. For people who want to keep it cozy and easy, keep it cozy and easy for them. Mm. You know, I'm all for gamers getting what they want out of their games. I know, but they did do that in Yoshi's Crafted World. Yeah. They gave Yoshi the flutter wings, remember? Yeah. That was supposed to make it easier. And honestly, I'll tell you, it didn't make it easier for me. Really, it didn't. Yeah. I'll just say this. Everyone's allowed to have their own opinion. Every game should be made for the hardcore gamer. Not even right. cozy games. Yeah. No, there shouldn't be a hard mode. It's not for you guys. It's for cozy players. Yeah. You want to play a hard game? Play a hard game. Don't go messing around and then they right. have to do this yeah. to try to please both crowds. And it just spoils the fun for the cozy gamers. Yeah, yeah. And that's just how I feel. No, I mean, I respect that. I'm just saying, you know, that I understand, though, somebody wants more of a challenge. I'm all for that. But at the same time, I don't want to see the fans who want the casual, cozy experience. Right. They need games, too. Not every game should be for hardcore gamers only. That's what I mean. And I'm a hardcore gamer, but I love my cozy games too. I love Yoshi and Animal Crossing and right. things like that. So I can't wait to see what Nintendo does with the little guy because, mm -hmm. you know, Yoshi is one of the most adorable, fun, warm, and wholesome characters around. And mm -hmm. seeing him in a game having fun helps me. I think Sean speaks for a lot of people because there are a lot of cozy gamers like, hey, wait a minute, Yoshi is like one of our favorite series. Let's mm -hmm. kind of keep it more for cozy players. That's what I mean. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the future. Mm -hmm. And I hope that a new Yoshi game comes out by 2025. Because everybody's like, all these new games. Oh, well, the new Metroid Mario. I'm like, what about Yoshi? <laughs> Yoshi is a yeah. part of the Nintendo universe. And yeah. Yoshi's Crafted World is over 3.5 million in sales right now. That may not be a mega hit like Mario Odyssey. But that's still, in its lifetime sales, it'll reach 4 million. It's yeah. really good for a game like this. Let's keep at it, Yoshi fans. Yep. This is me, Michelle Ann Tackett. And this is Sean. Have a good one. Thank you for staying to the end of the video and watching it. If you like all of our videos, then don't you join our other social medias like TikTok, Discord, Reddit, Instagram, Thread, X, and our WordPress blog. You can also support us by joining Patreon for as little as $1 a month where you will get exclusive content, uncut videos, behind the scenes, watch that trailer, Jack's Joke of the Week, and my sports input. If you join the $25 tier, I will send you an autographed copy of the Buzzies for free. If you love horror movies and independent content we're a great place to come and visit because we love supporting other independent creators and stuff when you support us you're supporting people who do all of this by ourselves hey michelle i'm the editor i'm the director of the videos i'm the producer sean's the executive producer and content creator so thank you everybody and please look into supporting our patreon as it really does help out just one dollar a month thank you and have a wonderful day